hello everyone welcome to my channel again so today i'm going to teach um how to find the limit of um any function using the tabular approach and this one we are going to use a slider to generate the approach um the values so before that i'll show you how to do it manually without using the slider and you realize that the slider will actually help us to animate the values faster so let's say we enter x squared we enter x squared and now and now let's go to control shift s to open spreadsheet or you can go to view and open spreadsheet from here all right cool so now i'm going to enter my values that i want let's say we are approaching one so that means i'm going to approach one from the left and from and from the right so this is 0 0.5 0 0.9 0 0.99 uh -huh. so you can see i entered 0 0.999 here but judge bar didn't show it to me um it's by default the decimal place is on two so 0 0.999 and two decimal places will turn to one so the best thing to do is go to option and go to rounding and you can select them so you can see here that it appears so then we have the one itself 1.00 can you see 1.001 1.001 and uh, let's say 1.1 or maybe 1.5 so these are my x values then the next thing is to enter my y values so what i can do is i can type equals f of and i'll enter this cell value with a2 the function value of what a2 do you get it and press enter then the next thing is come back to the same thing and then click on this small arrow and drag it down so you see that um, we have the values here nicely recorded so that means we can actually enter the values ourselves but if you don't want to do this and want to use the slider to do that and that's awesome because um, it will save time for you so what i'm going to do is i'm going to delete all this and i'm going to call my slider so now um so click on this place first and then click on the slider and come here so we are approaching one i can leave it as a number we are approaching one so we can move from let's say negative one to three and we can make our increment zero point let's say five okay let me do it something close so let me just do zero point okay um zero point five zero point five is cool and animation let's do it increasing once we can make it increasing once and go there that's it and now what i need to do is i can type f of a here when i type it here it appears here so that means x squared right if you um input negative one here negative one squared you get one and if i keep on moving the slider b changes as the slider changes i can see it clearly so what we need to do is to record the slider value so right click on the slider and go to record to spreadsheet and now set your row limit um, let's set it to 20 and then choose to list so the value appears here so close it and now let's come to our f of a when you double click on it you see that it is f of a so right click on it record to spreadsheet 20 and trace to list all right done so the next thing is just right click on this and animation on so when the slider gets to the last value to just stop because we set to increasing ones so you can see that as you are watching from the right the answer is one as you are watching from the left two the answer is also what one I just didn't write small, um, smaller values here, but um, you've gotten the idea or the trick that I'm talking about. So that is it. All right. Make sure you explore more and try to solve more questions. All right. Bye. See you next time.